welcome back to you. And me, gaming. Um, and we got a review for you today. An a unboxing for us. <laughs> an unboxing of the Nintendo Switch OLED. Gonna give an unboxing a review and kind of compare between the 2017 Switch as well. Oh, okay. So we have the box here. Kind of the same style as other releases of Switch. Yeah. With the white design here. I kind of like that white design. It's a little different, in my opinion, than traditional black or red or whatever. See some new features on here, so let's check it out. Right away, we have the Joy-Cons. Nice white color there. And then we have... Slide them out. Normal Joy-Cons aren't too different there. I think those are just the same models. They may be a little bit larger because of the screen itself. But I'm not exactly sure if they are or not. So they're pretty close. And then we have the, the main part of the console, basically. We have the screen portion. Motherboard portion. Yeah, definitely see some changes with this. Very shiny. Yeah, so first and foremost, it has that back portion that pops straight out. Mm -hmm. Alright, so updated the back here. Instead of just having one tab, it sits on the whole back. Holds way it doesn't get bumped it's not gonna flip off from yep the one side. that was so that was a, a fall little, of the other one is that it would a little safer it would fall it, set it up it's not gonna be and that's a nice upgrade there cockeyed if you get bumped just closes back down in there mm -hmm. you had the power the volume and then your game cartridge cartridge, cartridge slot Next thing we have, we pull out this whole insert here. There is a, uh, it's like a warranty or something inside the cardboard there. That's a whole other puzzle trying to get that out. Uh, but we'll move that off to the side. We're greeted with another compartment here. We have the HDMI cord. That goes along with it. So we have the HDMI cord. Um, the power pack. Is that right? Power pack? Power, power pack. Used to call that, we used to call this the power pack when power I was a kid pack. back in my day. So. It's the, the entertainment the, system days. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, the, the plug, more or less. The charger, whatever you want to call it. The AC adapter. Yeah, AC adapter. That's it. Uh. And then we have the Joy-Con holder. Comes with this. Joy-Con holder. I'll bring that, you want to show them that a little closer. I've seen uh AC adapter blocks that go into the plug that was like big giant square things and then you plug it into your your uh either your your wall or your um electrical strip you, you plug it into it takes up like six different plugs yeah uh this is a little bit skinnier so when you plug it in you still have room for others you know it's not taking up both uh, you have a wall, you still have to do it on the bottom, but it's not 
but that, it's not that, as bulky. That does on the wall. take. You know, that does take. That's a only few thing. spots up for that. Yeah. That's the only thing that I've seen that. Plug it in on the top plug. It's still gonna block the bottom. So there's no. You know, but it's but you plug it on the bottom. So it's gonna get good power for it. Uh, Joy-Con, I guess these are the, the, the uh, adapters for wireless. Mm -hmm. um, capabilities off. Of it's for your, your switch. holding. Yeah, where well you can hold it. You're playing like hand. fitness games or something, or arms. It's got, the, it's got the straps so you can safely tighten yeah. it around your wrist. That's a cool feature. For games like arms and... Yeah, more active games and such. You can go ahead and show them that, what they look like. I like the yeah, strap. The buttons. It's pretty neat. Really good, strong, sturdy strap. It's not like a little itty-bitty um, like thread that's going to break like I've seen on the Wii yeah. back yeah. in the Wii yeah. days. Yeah, it brings me back to the Wii days. I was you know. sliding the strap on. Yeah. Got some 2014... Memories. Little homage, maybe, yeah. to, the, to their their predecessor, the yeah. Wii. Then we have the dock. Can... Got some nostalgia for that. Yeah. <laughs> they have the dock. And this is kind of a cool design, too, I think. Oh, okay. oh, it's kind of like a futuristic. It's a bit more sleek looking. Like a Tomorrowland. Um, the back is kind of neat. As far as the, the the plugins and the cords are concerned, so this whole thing pops out, and you have your AC adapter that plugs into here. You have your HDMI out, and the bottom is that one of the new features on here. It's the LAN adapter, so you can plug in your internet LAN cord straight into your oh, switch. Oh, no more! And you can be crappy playing on. Fortnite and not have any glitches sure, yeah. or anything like that it's going no straight way. to your switch. You know, it's a pretty cool uh, attitude to do that. And I, I like the fact that it's got this open space. Your cords can come out and it's not going to interfere with it, it sticking out. It's or, an arch now. Yeah, the, yeah. the arch design of it. I like that. It's different. Um, I'll, I'll keep the back off so you can get a closer look on everything on that for a minute so you can you know. looks like there's also some USB ports on this side maybe for some controllers or whatever to charge into or something uh, or corded controllers they do have corded controllers for these it does have the Nintendo Switch Logo. Mm -hmm. It still does have that um, logo. Pop the back back on. Let's move all the empty plastic ones off the side just for a moment. Here we have back the here. HDMI cable. Seems like about the same as. It's a traditional mm -hmm. length of HDMI cord. It's not any longer. It's the the normal length. I think it uh. It's probably about a three foot cord. Say about. Mm -hmm. Roughly, give or take a few. Mm -hmm. All right. Here we got the AC adapter. That's what comes in the box when you first open it up. So, um, when you turn on this, it's already half charged. Mm, so I would recommend to get it fully charged. Mm -hmm. so you have plenty of battery to set it up. At least they give you half there. Yeah. So let's take a look at it.
set up there. I set it up on the table so you can see what it looks like standing up. No. First power on. And you gotta go to a setup mode now. Classic. <laughs> Wow, a nice welcome there. <laughs> all right, we'll get through all this. Status system. Take your phone. Three eighty. Three thirty. Something like that. Status view. Three eighty. All right, so after setup, you get to choose a username, an icon, change your background, and link your Nintendo account. Then you're taken to the home screen. So it's playing right now because you don't have anything on it. But yeah. once you get everything on there and all that, you know, you there's all these empty slots for your games. Yeah. So the comparison of the OLED to the 2017 edition see already that there is a big difference as far as the screen size is concerned. We have a bigger screen. It comes almost to the edge. This one here has got a bigger border around it. So you've got a bigger screen already that you're able to use and utilize a lot more. The back also has, like I mentioned before, this one only has the one strip. While this one has the whole back bottom half that pops out so you can stand up. And have to start your gameplay while you're playing it so you're not going to have any bumps that's going to cause it to turn and twist and fall flat i like that feature probably one of the uh i like that feature a lot better than the the back on this one yeah having the whole back is mm -hmm. keeps the weight even now the comparison of the joy cons so it is water at the bottom well black one on there in the 2017 edition so, so it does work for it. You do pair. So show you the OLED on the 2017. Does also pair. So that's great that all Joy Cons are compatible. And also does sit in the original dock as well. I personally have not used my dock yet on mine. I want to see how that's going to work one time and see how fluid it is to pop onto the screen. That'd be the next test between this one and the old one. Is there? Okay, there is. All right, so the back of this one right here is where your SD card would slide into. And on the back of the 
2017 edition is underneath the back flap as well. here on the edge so they both are underneath the flat as far as how they stand and everything is concerned but you can tell right here you've got that one sideways and you've got this one sideways and you can tell the difference mm -hmm. like this one's a lot more sturdier look at that and that, that does pop out from time to time on the original there so really yep just snap out sometimes. So, so. Yeah, you gotta be careful on that because when you set it down, yeah, it plays right, it stands up okay, but then you have do a rockage issue compared to the OLED a, version of a it shake where test. it shakes, but it's a lot more sturdier. It's not gonna be as yeah. No. I mean, this table's a wonky table to begin with, so it's going to shake and give, but see that if you shake it this way, you can definitely see the difference between how sturdy that one how is. How that's just sitting there. And how this one's kind of rough and trying wobbling. to stay. You got to hit it really hard. There we go. And then this over here, same position. So it's still... In the same position while this one here is falling over so that should tell you that someone accidentally bumps to your your table while you're gaming with the the og switch mm -hmm. so to speak the oled still standing because it has that much broader so that's a good feature as far as the backing is concerned we did different shape tests from different parts of the table from off screen in the long ways and did it from sideways this way so yeah. And different different strengths, you know, lightly and then hitting it hard to see what it does. So you can tell right there that it's a much stronger uh, base or kickstand, or whatever you yeah. want to call it. Anyway, right now we're talking about the, the dock the docking base. So it goes from a black to a white here. I do like on this one how it has that bigger logo on it. This is transitioned to a little bit much smaller. smaller one. Yeah. But it is like engraved in there. Instead of kind of like a stamp or a sticker flat surface looking, it's a bit more intuitive into the mm -hmm. design. You got the shiny in there yeah and it's also kind rounded of, off instead uh, of more like a box mm -hmm. like the og is he as well and it's like a metallic black in there mm -hmm. so you got the ac adapter hdmi out and then lan in this you have the AC adapter, the USB, and the HDMI out. So there's not a USB slot inside there's USB here. slots on the, on the outside, though. This one, you have the two USB on the out. Also in the inner. This one, there's none in the inner, but you got these two over here. So. Mm -hmm. About the same size. It's about the the shape of it is the only difference pretty much. The mm -hmm. fact that the top is rounded off instead of squared yeah. is the biggest noticeability of the difference in the two. Also the back panel that pops on the back is also the difference. Uh, this one's more flat with a little like open side. This is more of an arch. arch. So there's two different designs there, obviously is you know. They, want, they kind of put much more like a sleeker design with the, the OLAN version of it. Well, this one was the first edition, and it's uh, 
more topsy turvy block it type abstract. Mm -hmm. More futuristic. That's the mm -hmm. word I was looking for. A little bit longer. Not by much, though. Not by much. You can see I've got everything lined up as far as the screens are right here lined up in this. And I come across over this way. And it's a little bit shorter on this side. So it's a little shorter. So OG is. As well, I guess because this screen here is a little bit um, longer. Interesting how they how that's different like that. Small uh, differences between the two. So. Plug in the control over here. Of course, we know it plugs in the back, so mm -hmm. it's cool that you can see that it does plug in. The quarter controller does plug into it. And then, obviously, all you have to do is just sync the console to the wireless controllers for it to work. Uh, with the wireless controller mm -hmm. as well. So. so stay tuned for the next re review where we're doing the travel cases for the Nintendo Switch, comparing the two and the new one that just released for the OLED, the deluxe travel case. Yep. All right. Well, that's pretty much it. We're uh, a little bit different... Uh, for us in the gaming channel yeah. as far as doing an unboxing and review of something other than playing the game uh, and everything so all right we have basically covered everything mm -hmm. uh, on this OLED OG comparison slash unboxing of the OLED so um, do you have any last words, ratings, grades, drawbacks, excitements? What's your thoughts? It's not bad. I do like the, the back there. You know, it's more sturdy on the table now. Yeah. That's one of my favorite things. I do like that. Because I played with the OG a lot. Um, I didn't have one personally. I always played with the cousins or family members that had it. And... We would set it up, and I was always worried about it falling over, so we would always put a box or a book or something like yeah. that to keep it sturdy so it wouldn't fall over, you know. So having this full back side that pops out and holds the whole thing in, that just, that's so cool. It's, mm. it's, it's uh, safer to use when you set it up that way. Yeah, and now that you can actually play it, and it'll stand up inside of the case, of the carrying case. Yeah. It's great. So that's a neat touch as well. Be able to do that. Um, yeah. I don't see anything that I would have done differently on it. Um, it's a switch. Yeah, it's basically the Switch, just updated with the the OLED capabilities, the LAN uh, input on it. Um, why it didn't have a USB port in the back like the rest of it? I guess because it needed that space for the LAN. Because there's three slots there, three slots here, so give or take, give and take on that, I guess, you know land for USB um, mm. 
It's just a give and take thing on that one as far as that goes. Because both have three slot slots in it. So, we just replace the USB with the uh, the LAN input. So, so yeah. Um, don't forget to like. Comment and subscribe and hit that bell. And if you're on Twitch, follow us on Twitch. You underscore me gaming. You can chat, interact with us, and be featured in the YouTube videos. And subscribe to the other channels. More consistent over there. We just hit 100 subscribers on the board game channel. Woo! Yeah. And it can be added to the viewer board and the leaderboard over here in our Twitch community. Fun. Come chat to us. Shout out. The Daily Spartan. Log. Astro Gaming with an 8. Kane California. Cage Alex 9. And Slewful. And then we have over here on the leader Twitch board or Snowy board right now. Kane California at number 1. Still at number 1, surprisingly. Almost a year running now. Getting close to a year now. Fatal Astro Gaming number 2. Biting at the heels of Kane, so maybe it's going to be a change. Depends mm -hmm. on how Kane uh, interacts with our channel. And then Cage Alex 9 at number 3. Still at number 3 because nobody else has got him off the board yet. Or even tried to get him off the board yet. So he's sitting safe right now. Yeah. <laughs> And then he is also, Cage Alex and I is also our moderator on Twitch. Thank you for everything you do for us. You are a true legend. There we go. Still trying to upgrade the quality, so that's why you haven't seen some videos in a while, because I really don't want to do the TV, recording off the TV thing anymore. So we're going to upgrade the quality. Yeah, working on bringing working you guys some new content on the gaming channel. Hopefully here soon. So I that's why we've been more consistent board on board game channel and the blog channel. So if you want more content, check us out over there. But thank you all for watching. Next review soon, coming for the traveling case. Power. Oh, yeah. Power to the gamers. Get out there and game. We'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.